Hey guys, this is Canex size 79 and today I want to touch on an update on some new livestock that I put in this aquarium. Uh, as you can see, it's getting a little bit more color. I made myself a list on some of the stuff I've bought in uh, the past couple weeks and I just wanted to share with you guys um, the progress of this tank and uh, hopefully I can give you some tips on certain things since uh, summer's right in our face right now. A lot of people are dealing with uh, high temperatures and you know uh, maintenance is key in this hobby. Uh, but first let me just tell you some of the new livestock I got. Uh, I bought uh, four turbo snails. Um, I had only one left. And then I bought this uh, Swakamosa Su clam. That's new. I got these uh, red mushrooms, which I will. Uh, I thought I had some epoxy, but I ran out. I want to fry them. I mean, I want to put them right here. I also bought this brown torch. A little $10 frag I picked up. Good size. Uh, I bought this Aiken coral. And then this guy right here is kind of small. It's, uh, let's see if I can find it. It's uh, Ganipora Red. I think I got the name right on that one. I'm not really quite sure. I also bought that cleaner shrimp, camel shrimp. I got two peppermint shrimps, which they had eggs. So hopefully uh, I'll get some new uh, fry pretty soon. And uh, three bumblebee uh, snails and two nasari snails. So overall, I put some uh, new pieces, I mean, some new stuff in there. Um, the other thing I wanted to share with you guys, I don't know if you guys have been following my videos. I have this Rasta coral up here. He wasn't doing too good, so I, I did relocate him and I put him on this side. And as you can see, it's fully open again. It took him about maybe a week, and uh, it, it was just it was just not doing good. I had him over here. I, I did uh, get this coral here, it's kind of like a senior family coral. I love this; it's real nice. And I guess it was giving it to it was kind of taking some of the light away from him. So I, I, I decided to move him over here, and it's kind of behind my pulsating senior, but it is doing a lot better. Um, the other thing I want to touch on on my tank, uh, by the looks of things, I've been getting, uh, I'm seeing results now. My my turbo snail spawned, uh, I want to say maybe a couple months back, and uh, maybe like six months ago. I want maybe maybe a little more than that, and I'm starting to see a bunch of little turbo snails everywhere. Um, I mean, they're up in there probably by the hundreds. I mean, you can see them moving around. Let me see if I can show you. It's the little white dots right there. I don't know if, I, if you can see my camera. If I'm using my Droid Razor, and uh, I mean, they're everywhere in my tank. Let me see if I can zoom in. Let me see if the blur uh, blurs out. But anyways, uh, I wanted to show you guys how the spawning that took place couple months back uh, I mean it, it I thought it was gonna get filtered out but it didn't and uh, as a result of that I got all these little baby turbo snails now and uh, another thing I want to touch I've been fighting I've been fighting phosphates for quite some time now and uh, I've been putting these uh, green pads and phosphor removers chemi pure and uh, I've been also been using uh, the two little uh, fishes, brown uh, ferrox oxide media, and it's been working slowly but surely. And I just want to share with you guys, I did buy this uh, live rock here. It had plenty of coralline algae. As you can see, that LPS did not make it, but it did. Uh, it did get some nice. Uh, uh, color on that on that uh, plug it's covered with uh, coralline algae my overflow box, over, uh, box is getting it too 
has little traces of it everywhere. I'm also getting a lot of scallops everywhere growing in my tank. And as you can hear, my chiller is turn, turned on right now. It's running, uh, it's pretty warm today. It's about maybe 87 degrees. I am keeping the low, the lights turned off during the day. I turned them on today because it's Sunday. I want to look at my tank. But uh, I have a tip for you guys. For those of you guys that don't have a, a chiller, what I'm going to show you what I used to use before I had my chiller. And this is a, a ice block. One of those, uh, get them at Walmart, Rite Aid. It's a blue block of ice. And what I used to do when it used to get real hot in my tank, I used to put them in my uh, sump. Just drop them in here like that to cool my water down, they float. The cool thing about it is they don't release any uh, ice or fresh water into your tank. They're not gonna uh, leak out. That's what I used to use when I had uh, no chiller. I used to buy a couple of them, put them in my sump, and they will cool my water down dramatically. Um, I mean, you can run a fan to it if you wish, but for me, this works the best. What's cool about it, you buy a couple of them, you put them in your fridge, and when these get, you know, room temperature again, um, you put them back in your fridge and we'll get another one. Um, but maybe this is a helpful tip for you guys right now that are going through some uh, extreme temperatures. Um, I did clean my uh, protein skimmer. It is working very efficient right now. I added these blue LEDs from my mangrove trees. And as you can see, I mean, my trees have grown dramatically. Um, they're actually hitting the lights now. So I'm debating on what I'm going to do. Maybe I got to push them towards the back of my uh, system. Maybe let them peek out through the back of my tank eventually. So, um, yeah, as you can see, I got some great growth on, on those. Other than that, I will be doing uh, probably uh, uh, my mineral mud. I'll be doing a 50% swap up pretty soon. I'll probably do a video on that. But I just want to show you guys how I use those blocks of uh, blue ice and put it in there just to cool your system down. Um, right now my temperature is at 76 degrees. It fluctuates from 76 to 77. That's high as 78. I have a really good uh, chiller. So my tank does not very, you know, it doesn't get very, very hot. It never gets above 79 or 78 for that. Uh, so once again, guys, I just want to give you these tips, show you the progress on this aquarium. And uh, guys, I appreciate all the new subscribers, all the uh, nice warm comments. And uh, subscribe, guys, and uh, leave a comment if you have any questions on this aquarium. And uh, I will reply. Peace.